Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and I just got back from visiting my brother where we were programming a uh, game I'm working on, so something that I'll be sharing with people as it becomes more ready. But my plugin this week is rather interesting. Introducing Air Windows Recurve. This is like a kind of compression algorithm that works differently from what I've had before. It's kind of like the way that I use sine waves and, and that sort of calculation for the distortion factors. But if you're familiar with Air Windows Fracture and wave folders in general, you know that if you overdrive a sine wave enough, it can go back around to zero again or even negative amounts. So my question became, what happens if I make a compressor that does this in the sense of it starts out at zero, not modulating the gain at all, and then as stuff gets a little louder, it goes to increasing the gain once there's some audio in there, and then back around to zero, and then as you get louder still, it goes to cutting the gain and then pins at the maximum point, which is about 270 degrees around the circle. Uh, and you get something like this. This is Air Windows Recurve. So essentially what it is about is there's a gain boost in here, and then the compression is cutting it off. Now watch what's happening with these uh, gain level things in here. We're hovering around minus nine. And now we're hovering around minus six without a big obvious change in tonality. That's recurve for you. Recurve is a stereo effect. This is sort of in development. So what you're seeing at least for the next couple of weeks is kind of early glimpses of this, much like Spiral came out. And Spiral came out in this kind of form. Recurve is the same deal. It is coming out as a two-bus style effect. And you should mix into it. Like here, I'll, I can show you some other stuff. For instance, you could bounce over to something like this. And if I put recurve on this, You'll notice it's not the most squashed sounding compressor. It's essentially finding a sort of middle ground. And the way it works is it's almost like an automatic gain control in that if it's got um, sounds going on, it'll find a balance for them. And if you've got sounds that are too loud, it'll compress. And there's also a clipper stuck on the end of it just so that it's safe to use as a final two bus option. But if you have silence in there, it will cease to ride up the gain. So you can have quick, sudden sounds. Like bits in here. And it's not going to tend to bring up the background real hard. Or we can have other sounds like weird sci-fi things. And I'll turn recurve on here. Notice also that really low frequency sound. I'll turn it back off. And then we'll turn it back on again. back off again. Now if you mix into this, you can balance things with how much that reverby background stuff will explode out at you. There's going to be a sweet spot where you're putting a level into it. Like here's another bit of uh, audio for you.
that's got some kind of high frequency noises happening and some sonorous guitar noises and a sort of floaty background noise. If we hit reverb with this, we're bringing out the lows and that kick in a very obvious way. This is one where I might even consider here, I'm going to scooch these things out of the way for a second. We'll replace this test oscillator with pure gain. Boop. And having done that, we can cut the volume right down and there we have recurve. As you can see, people who aren't familiar with Air, Air Windows plugins, you can see this has no controls. It is just blank. You might as well use it like this. There's no reason to open this window for any reason because there's nothing in it. I've got it open so that you can see that this is what is there. But we'll go back to this stuff and we'll see how it reacts to pushing it not only up to zero but also beyond zero and you'll hear what recurve sounds like when you're flattening it. So we can see on the output levels here the, uh, the amount of kind of boost it gives you is around 6 dB or so. It's got a bit shift gain in as part of, it's actually got three because there's a step down and a step up effect in there as well. But what we've got is around that for unity gain. And then as we start pushing it, you can see that I can get those lows in there. Now let's have some fun and smash it up a little bit. That's recurve for you. The way that compression is working is if you've got gaps, silence in there, it's not zipping the gain up. If it's in that sweet spot where it wants to bring the gain up, it'll do that quite effectively. If it's pinning, you know, pegging and going too far, it'll turn the gain down. Between those points, there is no transition point. The transition point is as smooth as it is possible to get because, again, it's using a sine function as how a part of how it's doing its thing. So there is no switch between uh, bring gain up or you've hit the threshold, bring gain back down again. Instead, it's got these zones that it's working in. And I can bounce around again for some other kinds of audio, like, for instance, this bit. That's got a sustaining noise in there. Let's hear what that sounds like when we push it entirely too far. And bear in mind, the output of this has bit shift gain on it. So everything you're hearing can be heard 6 dB louder. And here we've got about seven or eight dB of just slam. And it's hovering it around this level. And that's about as loud as you can reasonably get anything really. It won't really push any farther. But also notice if we do this, it doesn't do sudden gain swoops. Instead, you 
can put it to various levels. Oh, and here is another weird sounding piece of music. Let's match this a little bit too. And again, kill the gain and it doesn't automatically swoop the volume up again aggressively at you. So this is kind of a lot of gain, or at least it would seem like that, but this is really what it is. You'll also notice the big bursts of reverb in there. Let's pull it back a second. So there we have a pretty substantial loud nation that is handling a lot of very difficult sounds and noises. This kind of stuff. Um, you can mix into this, and if you mix into it, you'll start hearing the compression and overload as you push. Like you push here, you hear it sort of starting to smush a little bit, but this is already pushing way harder than you need. This is essentially 10 dB over what you would otherwise have, like, Like if you're working from here and you'd throw recurve on, that's a boost already. That's more of a boost. And yet it's kind of balancing, but you can hear where it's driving a little hard. So you can pull it right back or give it some gain. If you pulled it back this much, It'll be hovering at a quieter level, but then it'll sneak up. It's not over a very large range, it's just... It's got that ability to sort of soak up dynamic things you throw at it. And basically, this is, this is what I have for you today. It is not a final thing because it's almost, it's very much like Spiral where I'm working on this basic concept and the uh, source code will come out just like it always does when I put out a plugin. I've got some further experiments to do regarding like setting up one that isn't so boosty and Recurve also has that factor where it will catch overs and that's how I'm able to push it so hard, is that if there's any little spikes that are left over, they're being clipped off. Well, I could make one which is less boosty and doesn't have the safety spikes, and then you can see how far it would go beyond uh, 0 dB if pushed. And we'll look into that in future. But for now, recurve as it is, and this technology could end up living in a bunch of different plugins, because here's one of the cute things about it. Recurve is one line of code. It's a very cute, clever little line of code. And it's using that sine wave function and stuff. And there's some math functions that serve as um, like little if statements. And if it's like this, then use this. Otherwise, use that and so on. It, it's elegant. But because recurve is one line of code and a variable, the gain variable, you can stick it in all kinds of places. It's very efficient, very CPU friendly, and it's for you. Yeah, blah, 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 Patreon and stuff. If you like the fact that I can do stuff like this, keep me working with Patreon and give me more resources because it's like, Patreon is how I get resources to experiment with stuff. But yeah, Recurve is for you. I'm going to build it into more stuff. And I'm sure I'll be able to come up with cleverer things to do with it. 
if Recurve all by itself is that amazing that it replaces what you previously had on your mix desk or whatever you were using, then by all means throw me another 50 bucks or so on the Patreon. But this is just an early glimpse of a technology I'm working on. And we will see where that goes. Well, I guess we'll kind of see where it goes together. Until that time, I'll talk to you later.